really see how hard the meta can oh, keep changing. Maybe we will see the resurgence of anarchy of this map. Yeah, players tried anarchy a lot early on, and uh, when it didn't work, they, they kind of stopped, which Round makes sense. Three, I suppose. Two, but, um, one, we're, ge we're getting fight. in on map number one. Pasita spawning on the machine gun. Closer to Mega. Redcon on the heavy. Both players delay it by a couple of seconds, uh, which means that the items don't have any separation yet. Yeah, and the Pasita spots uh, Redcom's first totem already has the railgun. Doesn't have the rockets though, uh, which might be a big deal if uh, Redcom decides to, um, to lay a trap or whatever. It does have the rocket launcher now. So Pasita on a good uh, on a good spot. Redcom doesn't have the railgun yet, uh, which uh, might prove to be important. And uh, Redcom again on the heavy, and Pasita goes for his mega. So. Nothing really um, so important happening early on in this uh, map number one. Yeah, and oh. this match is particularly interesting as we get the first engagement. The inject has been used just in the last second, basically. 20 HP left, and Redcon stack is looking a lot better at the moment. Nobody flies in and Pasita with the high speed and the rockets get the first frag of the series. Still in the FD mid fight. Oh, what a rocket through the planks. Oh, but some self damage sets Pasita back a long way. Time must retreat, find some HP. That, um, I'm, I'm surprised we're not seeing as many traps. Um, as we could on that uh, on that back corridor behind LG. Yeah, I think it might be that they want to dip in the foot slowly in the water instead of yeah. jumping in right away. Oh, we see a rocket. beautiful time rocket off the teleporter from the Sita. Gone already. So far shows us that the Anarchy is a well managed pick on this map. I was gonna say before the first two frags happened that. This matchup in particular is very interesting because both of the players have... Well, players, champions have a pocket mega, so they favor the heavy. And you saw that in the early rotations already, that they both hovered around that area. And again, they both show up all the time. And, but Redcon doesn't really have the stack, and Redcon tries to steal away the mega. And he kind of does 5 HP on Pasita. Redcon oh, what a rail, though. No! Body checks the totem on 10 HP and um, that's gonna be this first frag. The hoverboard kinda, I think it must have been. The hoverboard I covered up the humming of the totem itself. Very unfortunate. And now Radcon stack is getting rather sick and he placed the totem again there. Good rail from Casita and the second one hits and this is now actually doing all the damage, and all the work he needs, and nice LG as well. Two frag lead again. Oh no! Redcom thrown off off the map, and Pasita is flying high at the moment. With a couple of back to back frags and still some decent HP, especially after that rail, he does have the stack advantage. And uh, after this heavy, uh, just tanky boy right there. That's uh, that's a iffy rail right there. Some very good tribal from Redcon keeps Pasita stack low, but rails from Pasita and gets the fifth frag. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a map where it can spiral out of. Well, well, where the frag count can spiral in the sky very quickly, rather. But it also can be played rather defensively, and Redcon really needs to find a way for to stop Pasita's onslaught. He pushes yeah, in and gonna... pulls his way in, and this should be a frag, despite Pasita getting the mega. There's not much he can do, the rockets are just too accurate, and now Radcon has the armor as well to find the anarchy fresh off the spawn, but he does not hit anywhere near enough, and the inject combined with some good LG of Pasita himself makes Radcon retreat there. And also, Pasita bullied his way in on the heavy, and Redcon does not really have anywhere to go because he has no stack, so he can't risk anything. And this yeah, means control for Pasita. 
Yeah, Red, Red Bull, though. Uh, finding a way to get back stack wise, but the Dry Bolt will start to chip it away. Still not railable, which is good. <clears throat> Always railable now. And uh, that's nowhere near enough HP. And there's a heavy waiting for Pasita. Pasita goes for a fight first. Oh, this might be risky. That's a good rocket from Redcom, but uh, there's a pocket mega right there. Uh, Redcom tries to make his way to the mega. He will get the mega, but he's so low. He should fall here. Pasita whiffs on a couple of uh, rails. Oh, we give three the third one. Yeah. Oh, what a shotgun! Well, if the long range does not work, just take it the short range. This time, Redcon made the jump, and he dealt a lot of damage with Pasita's rail. This time, he's not missing a beat. Good spawn forcing, and Pasita is just piling up the body count. Redcon does not really have any weapons, and... I mean, Pasita doesn't have much stack, but it's not a good situation still for Redcon, because Pasita now gets the Mega Health again. Yeah, this would be in great position to f at least fight for the heavy. Talk about fighting for an item. Uh, there's nothing Redcon can do here. If Redcon goes to the rail, it's a sure frag if he tries to lift to the other side. He's gonna have to go through Anarchy, and that's a frag, but the heavy's up. Redcon, if Redcon had a luckier spawn, he could have stolen it, but uh, the play gods didn't want it that way. Yeah, and actually now you see in that learning the spawns on the map, how much benefit it can bring to you. Like, Pasita has both. Yeah, like, the big lead not comes... I'm not gonna say he played poorly, but the big lead comes from him expertly forcing the spawns and making Redcon pay for every time he dies. So he basically gets a two-for-one at all times, and... Yeah, Pasita just really did that very well, and... Oh, now... missing a couple of important rails, oh! and the totem from Redcon! Not, not Timmy the Turret, but Timmy the Totem is the best friend right here. No oh, one denying the light armor, that's actually a good move. But yeah, um, armor looks energy is always a, a weak character. Oh, that's and... a good rocket. Completely throws Pasita off. And Pasita still denies the railgun. And at this point, the time is really running out for Redcon. He really has to find a way to actually be able to find his opponent and deal damage while not losing too much. And this might be just too much. He lost so much HP. Now he has forced the sword, but he can't finish it off yet. Now he can. Five frags to go. And if he can go on a similar tear that Pasita did earlier, we might see a tight game at some point. Yeah, the match not over yet. Oh no, the rail! The rocket! Oh, that was a good shotgun, though. Yeah, with full speed into two barrels, that's not how you want to die. Well, they don't ask you how, they ask how many, and... Um, that is another one for Redcon. Um, Now, four frags in two minutes, it's definitely a possibility. Uh, Pasita can't play on autopilot just yet! Oh, and brought a couple of rockets! I mean, the rail from Pasita was nice as well, but those rockets came in clutch because they denied the Anarchy the Mega Health, and now the Anarchy is almost shoved out, but the CPMA movement helps him and stays him. Yeah, makes him stay in the map. And it's still a five frag game. And this time it's the Anarchy with the rocket launcher, but the Anarchy gets nailed and... Well, it's not a beautiful art of, uh, way of nailing or getting nailed. What is this is the that? number one? Yeah, no number one anymore. HMG is enough. Starting machine gun for that matter even. But Pasita's still low. And if Redcon gets slain frag, which he can't. Because Pasita... Clutches it out this time, and I think now we kind of reached the point of no return. Yeah, well, I don't. Pasita played the map perfectly in the first seven minutes. And then Red got it a bit of a resurgence, but later on it was the Pasita show again. When time became of the essence, then uh, we really saw what um, what Pasita could do.
Man, Pasita is the first one who actually convinced me that Anarchy could be a decent pick on this map. Yeah, uh, Pasita proved us wrong. <laughs> uh, we've been, we've been um, kind of downing the, the Anarchy pick a little bit here, but... Um, yeah, great on Pasita for, for playing well with, um, with Anarchy. Anarchy yeah. deserves a break. Oh, <laughs> that mid-air off the bounce pad. That requires some timing, I tell you. A beautiful frag to finish it off. And to finish off a strong performance of Pasita in general on this map. Absolutely. But also a good showing from Redcon. He had some he had his moments of control there and the, where he piled on the frags. Yeah, absolutely. We are going to see though. If that little momentum that Redcon had going for himself near the end of the map will actually help him for the second map. Yeah, I, I, really, I, I think a large part of that map was uh, played in the first uh, four minutes. Uh, Redcon was just being stomped on. And, well... Yeah, Pasita kind of had to manage it for the rest. Yeah, true. Yeah, but the uh, Redcon had uh, had some good moments there. I think mentally, going for map number two, he's proved to himself that um, he can do it, especially on his map. Um, yeah, and it's uh, be a uh, different story. also rocking the keel, right? Yeah, like yeah, deep embrace absolutely. and keel. That that's his his hometown combination. What like he has going, done going with a big boy on his home map. <laughs> it's gotta it's gotta feel like he can do it. Yeah, I'll let you two go uh, edit this uh, this match. I'll stay out of it. Thank you a lot, Jones. Thank you. Thank you for uh, the first match. It was awesome to see. But yeah, I, I do think that uh, Redcon, yeah, his the, the start wasn't his, and Posita was just playing so strong. Uh, yeah, he used energy, energy speed to his advantage. Um, but. Yeah, deep embrace. Um, I think if uh, Redcon uh, gets the heavy from the start, then he will uh, he will get the first strike. Prepare to fight. Yeah, the kill can be such a turret in this middle in upper area with the railgun and a rocket launcher two, in his hands. One. It's fight. very hard to dethrone, and I'm starting on that guy as well, and he got the spawn he needs. Oh, and that was a crucial one to miss, if you ask me. Yeah, especially yeah. with the speed of Pesita, he gets both items. Yeah, despite having all the weaponry you need for a fight like this, he doesn't have the stack anymore because the Russians stole everything on the map. I come bearing gifts. And now we see a very, very low on stack big guy and a very high on stack small guy who now has all the weapons in his hands as well. Yeah, and I don't think Redcon can fall down, right? Because Posita is <laughs> overstacked on everything. Yeah, he even gets punished by just lingering around. He does uh, collect the mega health, but the uh, armor goes to uh, Posita. Yeah, and we... Are... I mean, if you're Posita, trading the item is actually okay, and... With the initial damage that Recon got of him, it was very risky for Pasita to, to push in for the Mega. So going to the Heavy and just denying the, the big guy the big armor is actually a quite quite decent strategy as well. The rails for Pasita missed, but the rails from Ratcon hit and... Oh, but he gets the Mega Health! One HP on the German and Pasita's stack is huge! And there you go. First rack for Pasita again. Finished it off with the MG. He did not fall. It looked for a second like he did, didn't it, Rob? Yeah. Um, but I think again, it's it's not a good start for Redcon. So he has to do a lot of work to get back in this game. He does play a heavy, but yeah, look at it. Posita is hitting his shots while Redcon isn't uh, connecting uh, anything. And there is no pathway for him to the heavy, and and he 
that's really a lifeline for Kiel. True, like you need that armor because you are easy to hit with that big hitbox. And Pasita so far is doing a very good job of denying him that area. That being said, once that Ratcon finds an opening and catches Pasita off guard, Kiel is one of those champions that can like bounce you around and completely smack you in no time as well. But Pasita plays this so well, and now he will grab at the light armor again, and this is what I said when the heavy guy is easily to hit. Good job by finishing it off with a peek and one, one HP. Oh no, oh, and he botches off the movement, so Ratcon uh, gets on the board and gets the heavy. He's uh, still a little bit overstacked uh, from health, I think that's his, uh, from the spawn. So he takes position for the mega health. He can at least defend it. Oh, he gets railed by two <laughs> rails of third one. Four. Wow. Yeah, yeah well. And now we are count count at this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a nice one. That was a good push. Very risky, but he he stayed back. And when Pasita kind of retreated to a point where he got another good push through the choke He's point, the he used that. Spawn forcing did not work, but Redcon needs to stack back up. Oh, and the railgun from Pasita is so clutch! Make that like six in a row now! Pasita is just not stopping! But the game is tied! Wow, and he even... Just right in time. Yeah, I'm surprised that he walks away from this one. Uh, yeah, Redcon too. had all the tools to... Uh, damage him by a large margin but Sita came out on top so yeah I think Redcon is playing better right now than he did before but Sita isn't he doesn't hold back Sita is sitting on 75% railgun accuracy he has not been missing a single rail in what feels like two minutes he's 18 for 24 this is such a carry for the Russian player Oh, but he, this yeah, time around he misses. <laughs> yeah, the kill shot was not there, but uh, Redcon, he did a lot of damage. Oh. So Pasita goes uh, for the refrag. So, yeah, even if he's uh, not winning a fight, he's trading a lot of damage. Uh, this time around, uh, Redcon gets a pretty queen flag. Heavy is five seconds away, so he will defend this one. Even really uh, nice, another light armor as well. And even though it's it's uh, the mega is up to spawn, if he is fast, he can hit a rail on exit on Pasita, because Pasita has been delaying it. But Redcon does not want to do. He does not want to take a risk, and he bounces a beautiful wow. combination: <laughs> two rails into the pineapple. That's a frag if I ever saw one. Nice. But now he really needs to find some health back again. Pasita is diminishing a stack whenever he can with the railgun. Yeah, if there's uh, if there's one improvement uh, Redcon needs to implement is not give easy angles to Pasita because that's really a great uh, part of uh, Pasita's game plan right now. It is just hitting so many rails on the heavy champ. Yeah, uh, this time around he steps back at the right moment, so there is no real hit from Pasita this time. Yeah, a little bit of tribal as well. Just to give the information in this case, picks up the heavy and his stack is actually quite big. He can afford to push in and take one or two shots, but this is taking what to... This is far too taxing for him and Pasita gets his aid. And he gets the mega as a reward as well and Redcon really needed to hit one of those rails at least to give him a fighting chance, but he didn't and... Now it's Pasita actually having the upper hand again. Yeah, I think uh, if Redcon wants to get back in this, he really needs to uh, get this heavy. And he does so, and even walks away with another frag. Gets a great spawn <laughs> rail. So, yeah, he really has to chase this up. But I decides to go for the Mega Health first. But that means that Pasita... Did he collect a rail? Yeah, he did. So, Redcon uh, needs to be on the stoves again. Oh, nice. Iron the hole. Yeah, the thing is, not only has uh, Pasita's rail been expertly 
an expert tool of destruction, but Redcon's rail is not hitting at all. He usually hits very hard with that weapon, but yeah, in this case, he's being outclassed by Pasita by a long shot. And this is a huge winning condition, but now Pasita might be overdid it, has overdone it a little bit. Both players are extremely weak, but Redcon has the Maga. And does the stack. He did not pick up the light. I wonder why he stood over it. But he clutches it out with the rail nonetheless. And now it's Redcon for the first time in the lead on this map. Yeah, and he, uh, here's where uh, Sita is going. Oh, he, he, yeah. The rail isn't working out for him. He's trading right now. And that favors, uh, well, no, they were both uh, the same stack. So. They will be both on their toes. Oh, no! That was a bit of a Hail Mary. I mean, he heard the activation of the Pika and... And maybe he guessed he, Pasita was sending it the other way around, but not checking and dropping mindlessly like this. That's a risk you don't need to take when you're in the lead. No, yeah, you're right about that. He certainly needed to check where the thing was hovering. Yeah, now Pasita has the position, but he doesn't have the stack anymore. Wow. Because the rail and a direct pineapple. Yeah, <laughs> eat some fruit. <laughs> like, how that... Uh, seeing that from Pasita's perspective, how the pineapple flew up, there's no way you, you dodge that and react that fast. This is not humanly possible. But Pasita also has the position on the on the other light armor, and he denies it even. So Pasita's stack is actually in a very good spot. Redcons is not. One minute. He can take a rail, but so can Pasita. Pasita can't take anything anymore, basically, with 15 HP. But Redcon is missing oh. the killing blows. No. Wow, if he knows how low Pasita is, he might switch to shotgun. But I think he's still holding the real call. But he hits. And gets himself the heavy, but yeah, he still needs some health before the next fight. That was the money <laughs> shot. And yeah, but it, but it isn't like over. It's still 30 sec seconds left. Well, he can now fall back to it. Yeah, that's good. And Pasita's tag is not the best anymore, but Redcon is lacking the lightning gun ammunition for a fight on this range as well. Pasita really wants to close in, and if Redcon stays a little longer... Oh, he... Oh, he missed the... Uh, he, he hits some damage himself, and Pasita clutches out, but the oh, pineapple on the floor... Now disappear. He, he needs to disappear for the... Yeah, for two seconds. Nice. We have a, a tie. Woo! What the hell was that ending? <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Pineapple killing Pasita at the very end of the map that was beautiful to see yeah <laughs> he died himself and but he left the pineapple there to explode wow what a match <laughs> that was insane <laughs> and it boils down to a best of one that's gonna be very interesting and Pasita looked like he was going to run away with this one again, but the uh, Redcon came back, um, came back just, just at the perfect timing. Yeah, so, um, well, what's, what's up next uh, on the menu? Corrupted Keep, Sor Sorbet versus, Egg, uh, versus, uh, Eisen. Eisen. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Pasita on the Sorlak and Redcon on the Eisen. Yeah, I think we're at a moment that's just too close to call. Uh, I do think um, Eisen can be frustrating to play against, but if Sorlak is getting uh, all the heavies, uh, yeah, you do, do you have to do a lot of damage. Uh, but if you do the damage, then he's also in a position to deny the lights. And there are only two on this map. So, uh, yeah, Redcon really yes. needs to uh, to play. Um, yeah, if he has the Mega Health uh, spawn, he needs to play the light armor uh, game. But if yeah, he... I think, I think another important thing about this map is that the other... The lights are near 
two important items. Uh, it's next to the double bubble on Red Room and next to the rocket launcher and the machine gun um, on Bones. So that, that becomes really, really important. Yeah, and as for this being the decider, I let the this map for you two to comment and I lean back and enjoy the show. Yes, thank you. Alright, Rob, so Sorlog versus Aizen, this is gonna be it's gonna be intense. Round yeah. Um, is Redcon shopping for new leather shoes? Or is he just uh, food for the lizard? <laughs> well, uh, first damage does go to Pasita, but uh, that's not a lot of damage. A Redcon can absolutely live with it uh, as he gets the light armor on bones. And now that's decent damage from Pasita, keeping Redcon a little bit low. And Pasita, the one getting the light armor, Redcon won't have any armor uh, until the heavy spawns. But he does get the first frag! Yeah, and he steps into the bubbles during the fight, so that was his lifeline. Mm, there is n yeah, he dies without them, that's for sure. And now he knows the light armor on bones is about to spawn, so he goes, picks up the rocket launcher, always an added bonus, and uh, there it is. But Pasita, aware of that, and he tries to deal some decent damage, but does nothing. Oh, and that's a lot of third damage! Wow, and he can get the light at Red Room and then cycle back to one of the major items. He chooses to go to the heavy. Oh, but not before he do, does some damage on the Mega Health. He, he's, he's weak, though. Um, he needs to uh, get some bubbles. But Sita doesn't press on. using the turret to be able to go to that uh, LG to get some ammo, that's always a smart idea. Dodging the spit, that is a nice uh, one. Uh, you don't have to deal that for the next uh, 20 to 30 seconds. Oh, and he clutches it out, only 13 health left. Oh, and Pasita trying to close into the shoddy. The heavy is right there. Pasita, the one grabbing it, but uh, it's not that healthy. Oh, yeah. that's some amazing LG from Ratcon. Both players kind of low. Pasita on a better position stat-wise, and the Ratcon messing up the movement. Luckily, it doesn't cost him. Oh, but now there is a decent split on the heavy. Oh, but he blocks off the pathway to the heavy, so... Wow, that was some amazing damage. And it also makes that uh, Pasita can't go to the heavy. Yeah, not only that, Pasita must stay away for now. Um, the trap was decent though. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, I, I was scared for a bit because the Redcon didn't have any health to his name and Pasita was lurking around. So, Pasita gets on the board with a refrag. But uh, there is already uh, three in the lead from Redcon. So he has to do some work. Oh, and the shotgun is paying dividends for Redcon. Scares Pasita away from this fight. Pasita has a good route to the light. Uh, so he's back in action. Oh. And he uses the speed to bully himself in another frag. Yeah, now uh, we're seeing Ratcon uh, getting back into control. Pasita uh, be, being low for the, at the moment. Um, it's kind. He's kind of relegated to dealing damage from afar. The the Mega though still away from spawning. Pasita makes his way there. He's in position. That turret uh, doesn't really do much. Nah, it ends up doing a lot actually, and. Um, Ratcon extremely low, can't really challenge for the bubble, and Pasita uh, finishes it off anyway. Bones, oh, spawn traps on bones, and now Ratcon is just. He has nothing going for him at the moment. Pasita might be a few seconds away from tying this one. Ratcon, though, smartly hanging around, dealing damage from the better position. 
now decides it's time to leave, repositioned, trying to go for the other light armor. Sita might have something to say about that. He positions himself for the heavy. He should get it, but at what cost? Sita's right there. Redcon already so low, he might want to go for the double bubble uh, at tribal. Goes for one, it's the other one. And there's a close bubble right above lava. Yeah, I do think he's doing great work of uh, keeping uh, the lizard lady low on uh, armor. Oh, but... Oh, he isn't able to deal the finishing blow. And Pasita stacks back up on the mega health. And should be in a position to stack back up on the heavy as well. The rocket was good, hits both the turret and Retcon, and that's it for Retcon's lead. At least for the time being. Doesn't want to make a move on to Pesita just yet. Those rockets being very good and uh, basic here in the light armor. And uh, Pesita doesn't have a lot of health, does have the armor. So the double bubble will do the trick. He should be challenging for this heavy. And he does. One of these players will die and it's Ratcon who falls. And Pesita extremely low but gets the heavy mid-fight. And yeah, that's I, I, I think uh, Redcon should follow this up with uh, with some uh, lightning gun because Pasita got everything on the map, and if he doesn't do it now, then it, yeah, you will be fighting uh, a 300 stacked uh, lizard. But he's doing great, and also uh, has position to fight at the heavy. Wow, somehow! In the game tied, and that was value for money for that turret. Teaming the turret, proving invaluable. Trapping Pasita between the player and the turret. But now Redcon is low! He can't afford to even fall in the lava. Oh, he's banking on the spawn of the Mega Health, but... Oh, oh just a second break. too early! He also gets scared away from the heavy, it seems. Yeah. With the rocket, Pesita sends Redcon flying away from the heavy. And he collects it right in front of his. Uh, and yeah, also gets another frag. So, yeah, Redcon needs to slow a bit down because... Yeah, he's not in control right now. Oh, what a rocket from Pesita. Early verdi as we call it. And... Um... That, that uh, means it's two for a game. Redcon expecting Pasita to be on the other side. Eats earlier damage. Does get the heavy, but that doesn't mean anything as he doesn't have the stack. Pasita denying the rocket launcher. And will even deny the high timer with some brilliant movement. And uh, there, there's really nothing that Redcon could have done at that point. If there's something you can do now, the third hits for one, one tick. And the mecha goes Pasita's way, and Pasita's riding high in control. Redcon though should fall here, and Redcon can't show up anywhere. Yeah, he does. Oh, that's a lifeline for him. Removing yeah. the, um, the weapons from the lizard. It's, um, that's important, uh, important work. Good dodging from uh, Pasita though. And uh, there's uh, two minutes left, so. If he gets uh, a nice string going and can de deny some uh, lights or even the heavy, there is still time. Oh, he gets hit. He has <laughs> not much health left. Gets to a bubble right in time. That's another frag to his tally. Yes, he's left he's really weak. His card's right. Redcon does not get the, the, the spawn frag, but he survives the refrag. That's a beautiful move. Uh, he, he needs to. Oh, no. no. He yeah. Tried. Cute. Yeah, if he could uh, release a rocket before the Mega Elf, it would have been much greater than uh, he's in a situation right now. But still, he's fighting on. He gets the refrag. One minute left to uh, get the last few frags to give this uh, to a tie. Oh, that spit almost hits uh, Redcon in the face. Two frags still, uh, 50 seconds. Uh, so let's see what Redcon is up to. 
You will be picking up the Mega, the penultimate the heavy of the game. Of the series. He catches Pasita off guard. That's a frag. 40 seconds for the last one. Pasita delaying the spawn just a little bit. Not to get spawn hunted. Oh, and he has the rocket launcher. And he hunts him at the light armor. Doesn't get the damage he needs. Pasita has the better position on the Mega. And the last Mega of the map has been pick picked up. Asita holding on to this corner, doesn't he? No more major items will be picked up. 10 seconds. Pasita not as stacked as Ratcon, goes at the jump pad. That's some decent shotgun damage. Oh, and Ratcon gets the frag five seconds. Before and he spawns at Red Room. Overtime. Ratcon might have known it. Yeah, he certainly heard that audio cue. Oh, he, he can't deny the light. And. That is a lifeline for Pasita, and he also collects the rocket launcher, so he can do a lot of damage at the mech heavy. He collects it! Oh. Redcon charges in with less than 100 HP. Wow. And that's a frag for Pasita. Um, Redcon th uh, just throwing the dice out there, gambling on picking up the heavy mid-fight, but it spawned a second earlier. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, but uh, great praise uh, from Pasita. Yeah, Pasita taking uh, exile, uh, Radcon taking uh, deep embrace.